Just a basic tutorial on uh, external keyboard helper. You have to go through um, to do application shortcuts. For the most part, you have to assign applications to. Uh, you can possibly deal with two custom uh, layouts. Right here, I have uh, 16 different apps that I like the most. And basically, you assign that. Let's say, for instance, A0 is boat browser. And then you go into. Well, say we'll take like Audio Po, for instance, and I'm using Alt K to trigger all external keyboard helper, which really is an essential thing, of course, to have on hand. So then you go to uh, Advanced Settings, Key Mapping, uh, Custom Key Mapping, and uh, each key on the keyboard has a, a particular key code associated with that uh, numerical or numerical or rather alphabetical letter. Um, when you see an application that's, or you see like this icon, so like this right next to the shift, that usually indicates an, a, simply an alt and then whatever you assign it to. So I put in, let's say A, which would be number 30. And then I'd scroll down. And I wouldn't need to put that type of um, information in. I just have to put down like A1 as an example. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll highlight that. A1. And there you go. You have it so that you can just press Alt and A when you have it done. Uh, I made a little chart using uh, like a spreadsheet, Kingsoft spreadsheet that can, you know, that details, that I use as a reference that details what each alphabetical letter on the keyboard stands for I color coded according to like first top layer the middle layer and second you know bottom layer what shift would be it'd be considered 42 if you press shift to assign a certain keystroke or what not and uh, that's pretty much the basics of it uh, to get application shortcuts it's only a matter of about you know, like about five steps and I'd probably suggest making a little thing I did this uh, through Pixart and uh, combined all my apps together at once. I uh, created this in Pixart as a guideline to uh, my applications. I just used uh, Alt A to show you an example on my Nexus 7. Samsung's have an issue with this program, uh, oddly enough. That you have to do like a key code repeat or something like that. Here I'm using. Alt and K, um, and I'll bring up the external keyboard helper basically. I don't know, I think it's a bad idea.